of basically nowhere, but there there are schools and there are houses here, but it's it's all sparsely, you know, distanced. There's a whole lot of, of nothing going on. I, why anyone would live here, the only thing I can think of is to just get away from everything. There's nothing out here. I mean, all that there is is a jack-in-the-box, you know what I mean? I mean, imagine living in one of these little shacks, basically. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. It's a crazy life. I don't know. I don't know what the appeal would be. But, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of cool to live out in the middle of the desert by yourself, you know? There's a lot of cars at this house. That's a lot of cars. They're having a party or something. Now we're heading towards the Salton Sea beach. There's a beach area and a marina area. We're gonna see what a beach looks like at the Salton Sea. I have no idea what a beach would look like here, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out. There's a beach down here, the Salton Sea Beach. I have no idea. My faith in it being a beach is not very high, but we're gonna find out. That's what that's what I like to do is just go and find out. We have all the time in the world. I wanna see a freaking beach on Salton Sea. All these people living here, they're just like, do they have a beach to go to or do they not? There should be a fur meet at the Salton Sea. Oh God. <laughs> the Salton Sea is really weird. As you drive through it, it's like one massive trailer park kind of vibe. It's really weird. That's really kind of what it feels like. It's just a giant, massive trailer park. It has gone so downhill from its heyday. It's amazing. But that's part of what gives it its charm, for me at least. I'm supposed to turn here. We're gonna slow down and go y'all. Allegedly, I'm supposed to turn here, so. So the beach isn't really much of a beach. We're, we're here, and as, as you look around, there's really not much going on. There's a bunch of abandoned buildings, but there is there's a, a new looking car right over there, which means someone's probably here right now and probably best to avoid the area just because you don't know who it could be. Most likely it's someone very friendly and nice, but it could also be someone not friendly and nice. If you could take the camera and like just look around this area and show how desolate it is and like, yeah, amazing beach. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's head to the next stop. On our way out though, I just wanted to show you, look at this, look at this de just destroyed trailer home. And there's a couch in there. You can still see the couch. Look at that. That is craziness right there. It's just, I, I don't know. Something about this type of stuff just blows my mind because people used to live there. There used to be lives that happened there and now it's that it's just nothing. It's just crazy. And these, all these houses look occupied. So I don't want to cause a scene by walking up to it, you know? Although that would be kind of cool. This is just kind of crazy. This used to be someone's life here. Look at that. I mean, that's just bizarre to see. That is craziness. You can see the wheels underneath it also. That's just, I mean, how does this even happen? How does this even happen? We should take that couch home. You want to take a, yeah. take a couch? quick before we continue on with the adventure i'd like to talk about today's sponsor and that's me my patreon i do have a patreon for this channel specifically it's linked in the description down below if you enjoy what you're watching your support would mean the world it's a brand new patreon i have yet to really flesh out all the perks and everything but i'll be doing that soon so there's more rewards coming just stay tuned for that but right now really this is a great way to help fund my adventures if you like watching this content your support would mean the world to me so please go check it out and also i do have social media for this channel twitter and instagram those are in the description as well if you want to follow along i tweet occasionally i, I post to instagram occasionally that's another way to keep up to date with what I'm doing in the RV. So go check it out. Links in the description down below to everything, including the Patreon. Back to the video. Of course, we gotta come and get some snacks. I'm gonna try a cheeseburger here, an a and PM cheeseburger. That is hot, that is hot. How the hell are you supposed to carry this? I'm gonna try a gas station cheeseburger. Never in my life have I done this. This will be a first. It's PewDiePie G Fuel. Look at that. They sell it in stores, what the hell? I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, when I bought the cup, it didn't come with the uh, the PewDiePie flavor. It came uh -huh. with the Keemstar flavor, <laughs> which I thought was really strange. I didn't even know they had a flavor. I'm going to try PewDiePie G Fuel. Oh, you know, 
that's like it's like watermelon almost. Watermelon cherry. That's not bad. It's like a sour cherry. Don't you think so? Yeah, a little bit. It's not bad. I I do like it. PewDiePie tastes good. Now I'm gonna try the gas station burger and see what the hell this tastes like. Oh my god. It's just a cheeseburger. There's the cheese. You can oh god, this looks so great, doesn't it? There's the cheese on the cheeseburger. Mmm. Oh my god, this is a Blanders burger. Blanders burger, it needs salt immediately. Like, that's what it needs. Luckily, I got some McDonald's salt that I can place on the burger. Isn't that In-N-Out? This is McDonald's salt in my hand. The McDonald's bag McDonald's salt in an In-N-Out bag for an AM, PM burger. Yes, correct. And then we're also gonna put In-N-Out salt pepper on the oh In-N-Out pepper on the on the burger because it needs flavor big time. This, this burger is lacking in flavor by a large chungus. That looks horrifying. You know what else is horrifying is a burger with no flavor, so you gotta pick and choose your battles. Alright, let's let's try this now. Oh, that was much better. Much better burger. Mm -hmm. There's just so many abandoned places out here. I, I like to stop and take a look at some of them along the way, you know what I mean? I mean, look at this. They're everywhere here in Salton Sea. I don't know, something about abandoned gas stations just really, I don't know, I think it's cool. It has a nice aesthetic. And look, they even got the fake palm tree cell phone tower up there. Look at that, amazing. Man, it's so weird, people used to work here. It's crazy. Welcome to the Salton Sea, a place like no other. That is pretty true, don't you think so? Yeah. One of the most unique places on earth. In the 1950s, this was a very popular tourist spot. People actually went out in boats and swam in the lake and went fishing and all that stuff, but it's just too damn salty now. Well, this is just about the closest thing to a beach I think we're gonna get here at the Salton Sea. I mean, it does look kind of like the ocean, kind of like a beach. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is the closest thing to a beach we're gonna get here. If anything, this has less of a smell than the beach. That is very true. What the hell? Yeah, the so ocean nice. smells horrible. See, the biggest group of people who visited the Salton Sea back in its heyday in the 1950s were Southern Californians, including, uh, according to that sign, were Southern Californians. Why would you go here when you have the ocean? I don't understand. It, it was a normal lake back then. It was salty, but it was, I mean, like, why would you go here instead of the ocean if you live in Southern California? That is the most perilous picnic bench I've ever seen in my life. It is just like barely there. Look at this, you can't even see across. It's it's like the ocean. This is crazy. We, we drove all the way from the other side, all the way over here. It's, it's it's very surreal to see this. It's very quiet. What are your thoughts on the Salton Sea so far? Lots of water. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's it's cool I guess. I prefer water you can swim in though. Would you ever come on a vacation here? Uh, probably not. I would come for the day, but I wouldn't like, I don't know. I mean, we're camping here right now, but I wouldn't normally do that. There's a fly attacking the hell out of me. Why do you think people in the 50s used to come here? Because people in the 50s are stupid. Our time here in the Salton Sea has been a lot different than I expected it to be. But we're just getting started. We're like halfway done with all of our points. We still have all of Slab City to see. It smells a lot less bad than I thought it would. I haven't seen beaches full of dead fish like I was expecting. Maybe we will see that, I don't know. It's just a really interesting area in the middle of the desert. It's hot, it's desert, it's dry, and this is the stillest water I've ever seen. And it's it's just so quiet. This weird, this is an eerie place, it's very eerie. They should call it Lake Erie. It's irritating how eerie it is. And what's really sad is that some of the researchers believe that the salt, the salinity content is irreversible in this lake. It's very irresponsible that we allowed this to happen. Let's continue. Let's go to the next stop. 